another time where we get to do a live video like actually within the week that we're uploading so i'm excited to talk with you guys hey sprouts it's me your favorite semi goth girly onion and today we are going to be going through my savannah thrift haul so a couple of weeks ago i went to savannah georgia if you don't know i live in georgia i went to savannah me and my mom went together and then we went to go see my cousin and her graduation party for her master's degree because we smart up in here we smart we smart up in here i don't have a master's degree so i don't know why i'm claiming it but i'm claiming my cousin so i claim her degree <laughs> so we went to savannah we went to the beach and we went to a graduation but you know i couldn't go and travel without going to a local thrift store or a local yarn shop which if you like yarn stick around i have a couple of yarn videos on here just one or two but <laughs> we're talking about thrift today and oh speaking about what one caveat speaking of if you go back to last week's video i did not know that like the last minute of the video did not have any sound when i uploaded it disregard it's the normal stuff that you guys are used to hearing except you didn't hear the part where i said that there's gonna be a part two there's probably gonna be a part three too so multiple yarn haul videos are coming don't worry your yarn haul preoccupations will be satiated I promise, I promise, do not despair. So back to the thrift. This we, So we started off in Savannah, me and my mom went to Savannah to see one of my best friends that I worked at Disney with. Maybe I'll put a picture here if she allows me to put a picture here. Actually, I think you've already seen her. This It's colors from my Halloween video a while back. So lovely girl, love her to death, would die for her so saw her then i me and my mom went to the beach and we got our beach one you know we was beaching me and my mom and my dog lily which is over there on the bed we were all getting our beach one okay getting our beach one and after that we decided to go to my cousin's graduation party we drove all the way to south carolina and we got to our hotel the next morning i was like we got time until this graduation her graduation was in the afternoon so i was like i want to go to the thrift store i want to go to a thrift store somewhere around okay and since i had drove i got to decide to do what i wanted to do okay so <laughs> i was like i want to go to the thrift store and there was one literally within a mile from our hotel so I skilly backed my way. I literally walked from the hotel to the thrift store because I literally had drove the whole time, like from my house to Savannah, then from Savannah to South Carolina. And I was like, your girl is going to a thrift store stacked. So at first I was like, I'm not gonna get anything at this thrift store. And that's why I didn't record anything. And then that turned out not to be true. So I'm gonna show you guys the things that I got from the thrift store while I was in South Carolina, technically, but we're calling this my Savannah thrift haul video, okay? Okay, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna come over to the side so that I can put my video up here and it'll be over here. And like I was saying, I got all this stuff a bunch of weeks ago, weeks ago so I've been wearing it everywhere. I've been wearing all this stuff already, so I'll give you my opinions of them. One of the first things I, I got, oh, that's Marvel coming into the video. You know, she has to make an appearance. Hey, Marbella. Is this cherry button-up shirt. I think this shirt is perfect for the summer. It's giving, like, Fourth America, but don't want to wear an American flag, unite type of vibes. It's giving cherry pie she's my cherry pie 
it's giving dads at a barbecue okay dad's at a cookout i'm gonna be grilling this is the vibes this is straight up vibes i love this shirt it is uh 55 percent cotton 45 percent polyester it's made in bangladesh it has somebody's name on it named gibson and it is basic editions that is the tag and these cute little cherries are very like artistry very like drawly drawery you know i really like that i really like that quality of it and i think it's super super cute i think it looks super good on me too the next shirt i got this is in no particular order i'm just picking them up off the bed because i need to get this video up okay this week procrastinating so the next top i got is this beautiful like printed geometric top very much giving earth tones very much giving hippie boho which i'm not usually hippie boho but like i feel like i could i feel like i could get into it you know i feel like i can shift and change a little bit you know so i saw this top and i was like yeah that's gorgeous i love that i love everything about it i love the like semi sheerness of it gonna be great for summer packing this in my vacation bag for sure it's from jennifer moore and i love the like swishiness of it i love how long it is it's definitely gonna cover my boot so trying to not have my azuti all the way out especially when i'm working on the streets you know i'm trying to not have everybody looking at me and it is 100 percent silk so it is very nice very delicious to touch and i can't wait to wear this very much more often for the rest of my life okay this is very much i'm i'm giving i feel like i'm into like a grandma core aesthetic right now but you know that's just me <laughs> that's just me goth grandma hippie grandma like yeah hippie grandma that's me that's what i feel like i'm giving hippie grandma you got a hippie grandma i don't have a grip hippie grandma at all <laughs> my grandma is not a hippie none of them not either one of them but i digress the next piece of clothing is gonna be this green dress this beautiful green dress which is so funny because i literally just saw an article the other day where the girl was wearing this literal exact same dress she was in the article being like i don't even know what the article was about it was something about rent prices or like you know economic downfall and the 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 plague that capitalism is on to our economy something like that something along those lines but she was wearing this dress and i was like oh my gosh that's my dress i was i was wearing it the same day so that's why i was like that's my dress what the heck and i love this dress i think this is such a comfy dress i wear this around the house all the time it is so comfortable i wore this on set the other day and i was like oh so good i don't have to wear a bra with it which i'm like oh so good because usually you know they be they be poking girl they be poking so is from Yeon Girl, I don't know how to pronounce that. It has a zad zad zipper. It got two pockets. It got some scrunching in the front, and then it is. Let's see. Let's see. It goes about calf length on me, a little under my knees, which usually I hate, but like I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Sometimes I wanna actually. It goes like right under my knee, so you can still see my like Afro Space Girl tattoo. So it's good in my book. And it is 65% cotton, 35% polyester. So really great dress. Love it. I love the adjustable straps because your girl is short. If you don't know, I am 5'1. I'm this big. So it gets a little difficult sometimes finding clothes, especially when it's not adjustable. Because your girl don't want to have her scoot scoots out waving around. Especially when there's kids. When there's kids, I don't want to. No, they don't need to see my scoot scoots. That's not mine. 
can't see my squirt squirts. So I got some mesh tops, which I love mesh tops. I love mesh, if you don't know. If you're new to this channel, hi, welcome. We're weird around here. Mesh tops. <laughs> so I got some of these mesh tops. I got this purple one that has like an abstract, like painter oil spill, like tie, not tie dye, but you know, dip dye ish kind of thing going on. And I also got this one that has like this snake skin kind of pattern on it. It's gonna be great for like those semi cold nights on summer during the summer because like your girl gets cold really freaking fast and sometimes I just don't want to look at these things. What are these? What are these? I, sometimes I'm just like take them off, take them off, leave them away, put them in the closet. Ah, so sometimes I like wearing these and they're just a good layering piece to make your outfit a little bit spicy a little bit extra a little bit i can't do it loud i'm 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 so tired you guys i know i say that every video but like i'm tired i think i have chronic fatigue but you know we'll talk about that with a doctor one of these days when i make some money and can go to the doctor because I'm from America and we're not gonna go on a healthcare rant. Okay, next skirt is this cute little mini like tennis track Nike plaidish skirt. I was very drawn to the skirt because usually skirts are very long on me and I love a good long skirt, but I hate like a midi skirt. I really don't enjoy midi skirts. I'm either like maxi or short. I want like my booty cheeks hanging out, you know? You know, you know? And this one's really good. It says it's Nike Golf, a size zero, Nike Golf. And it has the little Nike on the back pocket down there and right there. And this is a skirt. It has shorts. It is a skirt, 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 skirt. I was really happy because then I'm like, oh, then my actual chunchies won't be out. Yay! Um, I love that. It has four pockets: two in the front, two in the back, two buttons, and a zipper. And I wore this the other day. Again, I've been wearing this, these stuffs. I've been wearing these things. And this was so cute and I loved it. And I need more like material like this in my wardrobe, especially for summer. Cause it's going, I already know with climate change and everything, it's going to be hot this summer, hot, hot, hot this summer. So things like this with like sweat dry fit material that's gonna be your girl's mo okay for this summer because i'm hot i'm hot i'm not hot right now because i'm inside in my house you know i'm wearing my, my my stuff i'm wearing my like sweatpants it actually came out to be like a really cute outfit you know it actually came out real cute and you stuff you know but out there there's a window right there out there it's hot it's hot as ball so Let's continue. So we're gonna do like a three, two, one. Well, this isn't like one of my favorites, but like the last two, the last two, the last two. So the next thing I got was this pink button down shirt. And it's giving very much so Dolly Parton, you know, it's giving much so Dolly Parton. I think I'm gonna wear this for 4th of July, like ironically, you know, but <laughs> I don't really like after thinking about it. I don't really love this shirt. I don't particularly love the color on me. I'm not much of a pink girl. You won't see a lot of pink in my hauls. But I was like feeling the like the same thing. They don't own them. You know, I was feeling very much so like cowboy quarter. You know, and I don't think I can give cowboy quarter even though I'm from the south and everything and I do have a southern Atlanta accent sometimes 
mo a lot of people actually say they don't hear my accent. Comment down below if you hear my accent or not. I know it comes out in some words or some phrases, but most of the time people don't actually hear it, which is kind of funky to me. But back to the shirt. I just think this was a fantasy self item, you know? Like, if I was going to the cowboy card or whatever the heck, then yes, this will be perfect. But I ain't going to that no damn little girl. Money. Money is coming to me at some point in the future. <laughs> so if you want to cop this, it's from the Rose Collection. I'm probably going to put this because I realized the other day while I was on set that I needed pink because I didn't have that color in my bag. So I'm probably gonna put this bad boy. I might take these little these little guys off because they about to fall off anyways. So I might take those little guys off, put this in my background bag so that I have a pink in my bag. Cause right now I don't. Moving on. We are going to go to my like real favorite item and then my like silly item to be very last. So my real favorite item is this two-piece granny set. I love this set. My mom, like, I tried on all this stuff at the store before I got it, which, pro tip, try on the stuff before you buy it because it might not fit, and that would be horrible. That would, that would suck to spend money on something that doesn't fit, even though you love it. So I tried this on, and before I tried it on, my mom was like, this, you sure? You gonna look like a grandma. This is a granny suit. This is a granny two-piece suit. This is what grannies wear at Hilton Head when they walking around and they retired and they wearing this. And I was like, you don't see the vision. You don't see the vision. And so I tried it on and then she was like. And I was like, don't ever doubt me again, woman. Don't ever doubt me again, ma. Because I know what I'm talking about. This set is so good it's so delicious it's such a good color i love this color of like lavender lilac oh such a good color and then also it has pockets on the pants which i'm not gonna pull it all out you'll see it on the this side uh pockets on the pants which are so big and juicy and the pants are like so like away from my legs that it gives like the billow effect you know and the shirt itself is so, just everything, just everything about this. I've already worn it like four times since I got it and it hits, it hits every time. Not even like 60% of the time it hits every time. No, it hits every time, I'm for real. And I mean, but it gets a little hot for this little shirty shirt, but I'ma figure it out, I'ma I'm figure it out. But this set right here, I love my granny set. I love my granny set. What is it made out of? It's from this company, Blast. Blast. And it is a medium and it's made of 100% cotton. That's probably why I love it. Love a good 100% cotton fit for the summer, for the spring, for autumn. Oh, and it has pockets on the shirt too forgot about that so like heckin pockets 100% cotton beautiful color everything I could ask for and more last item I got I saw it in the t-shirt section and you already know when you go to the t-shirt section at the thrift store you never know what you're gonna get okay you never know what you gotta get but you always gotta go you always gotta go I got this shirt oh you can kind of see what it says I got this shirt it is a medium from canvas one of those like generic canvas places and this is the shirt this is the shirt it says aunt flo it says aunt flo and it says changing the world one cycle at a time i just thought i don't know if this like goes to something if it's affiliated with something i'm not wearing it in affiliation to any thing like i said i got it to th at the thrift store so i'm wearing it because i think it's funny <laughs> uh, 
you can guess why I got this because I think it's silly and we are changing the world one cycle at a time us people with wombs especially when we don't want to use them but we're changing it we're changing the world we got it we got it people with, with uteruses and the allies that help us and think about us when we're aching and in pain and halfway in the grave that's all i got in my haul for savannah i hope you enjoyed this video again with the last video there was glitches with the sound at the very end after i uploaded it like on my end it looks completely fine on my computer but once i looked at it on youtube it the last minute is just all gone so again that's just telling you that i have a uh, multiple parts for the yarn haul so if you are excited for that leave me a comment down below and if you like this video you can like it down below and if you really 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 like this video you can leave a comment down below saying that you really really like this video again thank you for watching and i hope you guys have a blessed one and if you don't want to have a blessed one have a Fireball, Ozai, la every time the last airbender comment lit one. I know that was a little convoluted, but I hope you made it through that analogy with me. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. And I hope to see you on the flip side.